Hey guys, this is Neha Bolgam at Sosan Classes and first of all, thanks to each one of you for tuning in and welcome back to the video series upon the important reports and indices for UPSC 2020. Today, we are going to take up the recently released two indices, which is the World Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index and the Global Gender Gap Index published by the World Economic Forum. The World Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index is a measure of all the factors that make it attractive for a nation to develop a conducive environment for the development of travel and tourism industry in a country. And India has proudly jumped six places and reached the 34th position in the recently released report. Uh, when it comes to the other country, Spain tops the uh, ranking index followed by France and Germany as you can see in the list here. And the other countries in the top 10 include Japan, United States, UK, Australia, Italy, Canada and Switzerland etc. Under the Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, 140 economies are ranked in basically four sub-indexes that is the Enabling Environment, Travel and Tourism Policy and Enabling Conditions, Infrastructure, natural and cultural resources. Now these four sub-indexes include a total of 14 pillars mentioned here in this flowchart, which are used to score a country's overall travel and tourism competitiveness. While India is the largest magnet for tourists in the South Asian region and also is its most competitive travel and tourism economy, as a way forward, it still needs to enhance its enabling environment where we are still ranked in the 98th position Tourist sector infrastructure ranked at the 109th position and environment sustainability ranked at the 128th position. So these are the areas that we need to focus and improve upon. Thus, uh, the above index would uh, help us in perspectives such as its publisher, that is the World Economic Forum, the ranking of India and other countries, the components considered into making the report and the way forward that I've just above mentioned. Now, uh, the objective of these video series that is about understanding the profile analysis of these reports and indices would help us in uh, writing the introduction or conclusion asked in the uh, essay paper or in the general GS mains questions uh, related to the uh, aspect of tourism in the following examples. Thus, the previous year's questions and focus areas with uh, related to the uh, tourism industry are, for example, as asked in the year 2008, the question has been about safeguarding the Indian art heritage is the need of the moment. Discuss. Now, there might be questions asked on related topics upon uh, or related to this index such as the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Temple Tourism, India and Southeast Asian Tourism Potential, Economic Tourism, Medical Tourism and etc. Next up here we have the Global Gender Gap Index 2020 and this index upon its release has grabbed a lot of attention and debate since India slipped to the 112th spot from its 108th spot in the last edition and has ranked below countries like Sri Lanka, Nepal, Brazil and Bangladesh. Moving ahead, we also have the uh, index benchmarking 153 countries on their progress towards gender parity in four dimensions that are the economic participation and opportunity, educational attainment, health and survival and political empowerment. As we understand from, from these indexes, it aims to serve as a compass to track progress on relative gaps between women and men on health, education, economy and politics. In India, the largest gender disparity is in political empowerment with women's representation to only about 20% in both parliamentary and ministerial positions. Iceland has been the front runner on the Global Gender Gap Index for 11 years in a row while Yemen is ranked the worst which is in the 153rd rank and followed by Iraq and Pakistan. Thus, the usefulness of the Global Gender Gap Index is to enable countries to set priorities relevant in each specific economic, political, cultural and etc. where policy makers need to take action to better equip younger generations to address these gender gaps, especially in the developing countries which are likely to become exacerbated unless addressed now. With this, I wrap up today's session upon the important reports and indices published by the World Economic Forum important for the UPSC 2020. Uh, do like, share and subscribe to stay posted upon the further videos that we are going to add to this series. And do visit the website www.sourcingclasses for any further doubts. Thank you.